How's it going guys? Strife here. Homecoming plus plus CM. Let's get into it. So I've been away from this a little bit because of the holidays. Kind of got caught up on my own time and back to these videos with the 13 event. I think everybody kind of got left behind on the holidays and whatnot, but we're back. We're doing videos again. If anyone misses. Okay, so this is an AoE fight. Pretty much just, well, let's go. Pretty much just a bunch of AoE attacks. That's, that's like the best way to go about this. And I have some pretty good SP, so I'm a little this. I was debating on doing this without any uniques. But I figured I'd do that for the, the UCMs anyway. Mages are exceptionally better here because back row. So half damage. And they have a lot more... Uh, AoE attacks. I should slow the front ones. Start healing. Now they're not successful to poison, but this is just for damage. I don't want to say all it is. Oh, I guess they are susceptible to poison. Nice. Of course, Mr. Mog didn't say that. <laughs> I don't really research these games before running them. I just kind of go in blind. <laughs> Mr. Mog either helps or he doesn't. <sighs> now that sharpshooter will actually do more damage. Because they're debuffed. So yeah. Three man is actually not that bad because they're super easy to control with just healing three people. It's three against five, but I mean I'm doing AoE attacks, so I'm hitting everyone at the same time. So that's really all these all these fights are boom dead. I'm not worrying about target score with this. This is just to get the CM clear. Come on. It's one attack away. Come on. Boom, bam, pow. Dead and done. So that's pretty much that one, guys. Um. I'll get the other one up here in a bit. It's single target, so basically the opposite. <laughs> like, that's really it. Yeah, see, so just expert. So, you can also bring, um, uh, his name Snow with uh, Gaia's Cross or Draw Fire, and just have him like defend the whole time. <laughs> That's another strategy. Um, you can also just put him in the back row and, and give him, uh, I think, I'm not, I can't remember if if Kick is, is long range or not. I think it is. But you could also, you could always just give him Gaia's Cross and Kick. And then so he's in the back row. Um, and Gaia's Cross ups his defense too, and he'll take all of the all the physical attacks, and then all the magic ones are really the only ones you have to worry about. So you probably won't even need Protecta if you're bringing that. So just bring that and Shelga, and then bring like, you know, Vessel of Fate for haste and 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 boost and the Insta Cast commands. That's what I like about it. They're single target, but 
you know, they, they can help. You can always cast them and then immediately cast like a Meteor or something right after that. So that's pretty much that one, guys. Later.